see you Thursday. Take the sofa. They said they didn't get the check. Check? You sent the check, right? Mm -hmm. I forgot. I mean, I've been carrying a check with me for like a week, you know? You got a check? Yeah, he's got a check. Right. He's got a check. You fellas like what you do? Look, this isn't the first time we've been here, right? So? Well, you don't think maybe Uncle Sam owes us a goddamn sofa? My son is right. That's God's truth. Well, you know, we and Uncle Sam, kid. He owes you a sofa. You owe us 700 bucks. Six. We don't have to enjoy this, you know. Look, we're not in the business of stealing from war widows. You don't have to enjoy it. Hey, you like what you do? I'm clean. I'm clean. That's it. No tracks. Just the beat. It holds me on. You hold me on. I told you this would be the last time. Look, I ain't done nothing, OK? But if you leave. I can't afford to care about you anymore, Abe. So he's here. He left his wife and kids at 4 o'clock this afternoon. He never came back. That's all you got? It's a big city. You're the best we've got. You got the photo? Yeah, I got the photo. Find him, Jack. Right.
say this. Uh, the guy said this. Take it. No. So, um... <clears throat> Buy me a beer. A beer? Shit, good. Uh, two beers first. Forty dollars. Forty? Forty dollars? Good class of customer. Yeah, sure. Keep side hangers on. Yeah. Customers are in ambience. You want an attractive ambience? You need to get yourself. I get it. So you like the ambience, mister? Oh, yes. It's, it's uh, I'm Romantic? Going, I was going to say Smith, mister. Bobby Blue. <laughs> yeah, that's what the guy said. What do you want, Mr. Smith? Um, I want what the guy said. Company? Yes. Well, where are we going? My hotel. Where's that? I gotta tell the guy you want me to go with you. It's the Winchester, um, 157th, 3817. You got frequent flyers? Oh, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith. Uh, you brothers? Hey, my bad, Mr. Smith. I didn't mean to embarrass you. You didn't embarrass me. 57th and 7th. I assure you, Abe, anything that moves out of this office... And that man, shit couldn't cure a headache. How do you know? I mean, you walk in here $6,000 short, and then you tell me my shit isn't any good? Abe, come on. Do we... Do we have a problem? If you are using, Abe, well, we most certainly have a problem. Look, I'm not using. Honest, Abe? Honest. Then where's my six grand? I told you. All the regulars are fed up. I had to go down to NYU. Do you know how demeaning that is? All these Tish homos handing me nickels and the cafeteria privileges. Do you know how many nickels are in 10 bucks? It's a pocket full, Mr. Lap. Trust me. But man, you should be just thankful for what you got. I'm not thankful, Abe. Well, then you go down to 7-Eleven and buy yourself another box of bleach. Ah! Mr. Lap, I'm not using. I'm not using. Shit, I stopped you. I'm clean, man. All right. All look right. at me. Come on. All right, let's have a look. Look. Let's see. Do that shit no more. Okay. Damn. Right. Calm down. Because, Mr. Matt, Lack, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm clean. Here, here, here. I, I cut that shit out, man. Sit down, sit down, Why? sit down. what I'm saying. Just chill, Abe. Why don't you just tell me what happened, okay? The truth. What happened?
maybe some air. Phone? By the bed. Hey, it's me. Yeah, the tuna smells fine. All right. You gotta be kidding. Procedure. What if the tuna didn't smell fine? Well, then in 11 minutes, six monkeys with a car jack come swinging in here on vines. Does the tuna always smell fine? You hear stories. Yeah, I suppose you would. So, uh, Bobby, uh, hobbies? Play the flute. Not really, I do. My mother made me take it up as a kid. See, I come from a very musical background. We all had to learn to play an instrument. You chose the flute? Yeah. My brother chose the cello. See, I never understood that. I mean, I chose the flute because it was easy to carry. My brother was always lugging around this fucking... My drink? I screwed up and got good at it. Took prodigy good. Shit, never get good at anything you don't want to do. What did you want to do? Get off. I'm in business. You good at it? I make a lot of money. You like doing it? I make a lot of money. You flush six thousand dollars down the toilet. Look, Mr. Lack, she's a good woman, you know. I know she is, Abe. And I, I be trying to do things her way, but I just keep fucking it up, you know. It's me. She was absolutely right in what she did. She was. She was. One hundred thousand percent. You're a real douchebag, Abe. You owe me six thousand dollars. Yeah, I know, Mr. Lap. I know, and I'm gonna make it up to you. Oh, I know you will. I promise you. Look, it's gonna take me some time, but I'm gonna get it to you. Uh, okay. No, Mr. Lap. You know what? Look, I, I sell some things. I got some things I can sell. No. My jacket, my radio. Or, you know what? If you, you front me another eighth, I promise you, I'll step no. on it this time. I hurry up, Mr. Lap. I can make it up to you. I can make it up to you. You're a good-looking boy, eh? Oh, no, no, Mr. Lap, man, I, no, I can't yes, do that. Sir, Abe, you were born very lucky. You were born a natural commodity. Mr. Lap, I can't do that, man. You know, no, if you Come were a weight problem, bad glands, I'd just stick a screwdriver in your eye and call it a day. Yes, sir, Abe. Mr. Good Lack. things oh. happen to good-looking people. My son plays the guitar. He listens to the radio. It's like that he figures out the song. Right off the radio. And one day he says to me, Pop. Pop. You know, they were only trying their best. I know. All they can do is try their best. I tried. I owe you some money. We're finished? I'm sorry. For what? 600. For what? For taking up your time. What are you sorry for? Hey, I work out, you know. Thank you for coming, Bobby. Bounce a quarter off my ass. said he was down in the West Village. Shot him for boys. For boys? Yeah, well, even dead men get lonely. I'll check it out.
late night? It was a party. Oh. You have school in an hour? Chef's birthday. Do you want something to eat? No, I ate at the restaurant. You should have some breakfast before school. Look, I'm very tired, Mother. Why don't you get some groceries? Did you meet someone? No, mother. Well, you must meet someone sometimes. Don't girls go to restaurants? Not this one. It's only you. I love you. Good night, mother. Give me a girl. Give me girls. Give me a girl. Girls don't pay. Give me a moldy old IV dragon deathbed, bitch. I don't care. You got a girl. What the fuck that got to do with it? You in love. What that got to do with this? Girl would be like cheating. Nobody asked you. Yeah, it's all in here, man. No, it's down here, Romeo. Miss Pony don't dance with no mustache. Take her. <laughs> Uh, nothing? Nothing? Uh, fuck off, man. Whoa, what's the matter? Stop playing. I don't even know you like that. Oh, you like it. Yo, stop fucking playing. Don't Yo, Mr. Lap, get your little boy off me, man. Well, I don't need this bullshit. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> little porch monkey closet case. Closet? Porch monkey? Man, don't hey. get the fuck out of here. Both of you. Fuck you, fuck you. Sit down. Bitch, nigga. What the fuck is that? Both of you. Sit down. Both of you. Trade, stud. A good old boy I know wants you to perform for him. Another one wants to blow a black boy. Feels guilty because his great grandparents owned a plantation. That's a thousand dollars before you can finish whistling Dixie. A G? Something don't feel right, or I miss your call. I got six guys 12 minutes away coming to pull you out. No MIA. It's a good program, Abe. All right, man, let's just get this shit over with. What are you looking at, man? Fuck you. Regal on Park, room 3026, ask for Jack. Hey, hey. Don't fall in love, asshole. Hey, fuck you. 
It's on its way. The ambience? Come with me. For what? I bought you something. Why? I can afford it. Well, I don't go for free. I can afford it. Come in. Um, I'm from the agency. You know the, the agency? Close the door. Why is it so dark in here, man? What's your name? Abe, you Jack? I've been waiting, Abe. Take off your coat. Stay a while. Phone. By the bed. Yeah, yeah, yo, it's me. Yeah, tuna's dandy, whatever. Yeah. Motherfucker, just keep the math straight. Black. Hello? The coat? I've been waiting. Yeah, well, here I am. The important thing is, why don't you make me a drink? Your legs broke? <laughs> you mind? I get one. Bring it here. Why is it so dark in here? It's my party. I party in the dark. Yeah, well, uh, look, what you got in mind? Because... Sit down, Abe. You no, know, I'm going to tell you, I, I'm not as open-minded as Mr. Lat might have told you. Sit down. I mean, I, I do certain things. You want to see me work, I work, but I, I don't do all this shit. You know, it's just... You know this man? I don't know. There's a story. He's been shopping. Curious, it surprised me, this man. Always oh, ladies, you know. Suburbia kid's wife. Now, curious. He shop with you? Hey, man, I... His hair might be a different color. I'm trying to be understanding. Hey, I'm looking, man. I'll put a dress on you, boy. All right, well, maybe I've seen Fuck him. Fuck you like a farmer. man. All right, man, I said maybe, maybe he's somebody I know might have seen him. Who? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I got to ask. The $600 on the table. How do you want to earn it? Look, I have to ask. So ask. I'll ask. 
Aiden. You ain't a hard guy to find. What is it? A flute. Well, yeah. Could you play the flute? I do. Like it? Yes, you do. Your brother plays the cello. Did I tell you that? Yes, you did. <laughs> I, I'm really sorry. You don't play the flute. I don't have a brother. You remember telling me this? Like, I say a lot of things. It's okay. I mean, I don't really expect to see them. You, again. You want it? I could learn. A lot of people do it, with practice. Just put your lips together and I taught my son how to read music. Hey, I played tennis. Really? Yeah, when I was 13, they wanted to take me out of school and put me on tour. Really? Yeah, this dude saw me play at the Junior Nationals, right? He wanted me to sign on with him. But my brother, he's a gymnast. He said, look, you want to get it on or what? I'm really not a businessman. Who asked you? How old are you, Bobby? 15? Fourteen? You like the Knicks? What? At the Garden. <laughs> this ain't exactly my day off, Mr. Smith. I mean, you know, I got appointments. Cancel them. For what? A thousand bucks. Damn, we throw a strange party, Mr. Smith. Well, how about if I give it to you in trade? How do you know? And how do you know if you haven't tried it? I'll stick a wig on him. Yes. Okay, officer. Right. It's quiet. It's busy. Happy birthday. Bobby said he was working tonight. Yeah, he is. Where is he? What can I do for you, Doreen? Mrs. Cole? A drink? Sure. You, uh, like Manhattans? All right. You like a lot of them. He's going to college. Really? Which one? He's going to get a good job one day, so he's got to go to school. Well, school costs money. Tell me, Mrs. Call, how much have we set aside for the old college fund? Hmm? He's not going to be a caterer all his life. I'm not his father. Yes. Uh, no, I don't have anyone at the moment. I'm sorry. I'd say two hours at the most. Oh, you don't want to go there. Because it's a fucking VD ward, that's why. It's worth the wait, I guarantee. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why don't you give me your information? Okay. Uh, the Henry? Yeah. Yeah, I got black. Not a hair on him. Mm -hmm.
on TV, you don't do it justice. I mean, you gotta be there with the fans, the beer. You lost by 40. Yeah, but the fans, the beer. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, huh? Really? You liked it? Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> Why do you care? Cheers, huh? Here's to getting them next time. Oh, shit, what time is it? Shit. 1040. Shit. Oh, fuck. Uh, Mr. Lamp. Yeah, it's... Look, sorry, I just lost track of... Well, at, at his place. What, well, he's paying me. Now? It's late and... Well, look, he can make it through the night. If... Nothing. Yeah, no problem. Look, I said no problem, all right? You have to pay me. We just got here. Look, you have to pay me and I gotta go. Right now? If you feel you didn't get your money... No, that's not what I feel. I'm sorry, I'm... Hey, you want something fast? Why are you leaving? You know, I could do fast. Why are you leaving? Maybe you like to look. I mean, maybe you like to watch, Mr. Smith. This is enough? That's plenty. Then why? Because you don't sell a man one car. You're selling five cars of a five. You're not selling cars, Bobby. Well, you know, this guy's known me every Thursday for like a year. I've known you, what, twice I've known you? You gonna be there next year? I could be. Bullshit. People disappear, all right? Guys named Smith disappear. I'm here now. And tomorrow? Tomorrow. You say, I'm a fucking business expense. You write me off. You don't own me. No, that deed belongs to Lap. Yeah, what the fuck do you want? What, do you want a buddy? You want to build a treehouse? I mean, you tell me what itches and you pay me to scratch it. Why don't you understand? I mean, what do you think I do? Why don't you tell me what I'm good for? I'll give you $2,000 to go home to your mother. Forget it! Don't turn your trick. What am I selling you? I can afford it. What is it? You button your shirt wrong. You misaligned that first button, the whole shirt's fucked all the way up. Just because you made one mistake way back in the beginning, that one mistake defines what you are. I want you to recognize a mistake before it kills you. What's yours? I've already made mine, Bobby, and I'm trying to pay for it. And I don't know if there's enough money in this world. I'm buying time, Bobby. For me? For you. Tomorrow, off the clock. I won't work tomorrow. Good night, Bobby. Good night, Mr. Smith.
too late. Sorry. Get lost. Giving it away? No. Oh. Who is he? He's nobody. I love love. I wouldn't fuck my wife for free. No love. No. No freelance. No. No off the clock. We went to a basketball game. Are you not happy here? I said I was sorry. I missed a date. I was tired. You know, big deal. Big deal, Dobby. Big fucking deal! What do you want? You want to work off the West Side Highway? Do you know what happens to little boys who work off the West Side Highway? Do you know who's protecting them? The Lord, Dobby. How's your relationship with the Lord? Been to church lately? Trust him to look out after you? It won't happen again. No, it won't happen again because as of tonight, his money ain't no good here. Oh, come on, man. When did you start giving a fuck about the source? See that sign? We reserve the right to refuse. Well, I refuse. We refuse to serve all yuppie homo cocksuckers with soft hearts and Nick's tickets. You don't see him again. Who do you think you are, man? Who do I? I am your patron saint, boy. The patron saint of droopy-eyed punks like you. And during the day, I suggest that you rest up, because at night, you will toil. You will toil until all the rich and sick and dying have gotten their stiffy and the miracle cease when I say cease. Oh, and here's another of my lost lambs come to the mountain for the word. And the word is the four seasons, eight o'clock. And don't you forget to smile. You whistle while you work, boy. Do you hear me? Like it? Employee of the month last night. Missed a date. On purpose? Hey, you ever think about flipping burgers? Nope. How to flip burgers with a screwdriver in your house. So what are you in for? Six G's. How? Love. She loves me. You love her? See this beat? She gave me this beat when I stopped shooting that shit. She told me it represents the power of our love and that whenever I was feeling weak, that I could look at it and know that she was somewhere thinking about me. Thinking good shit, you know? When I used to come home, it was like, it was like magic, you know? Like some shit right out the movies. And I've been doing this a couple of days and now it's like, she gets close to me and I can't even breathe, man. I start to suffocate. 
think about the money. I started drinking and shit. I mean, drinking like it's a second career. I found myself in the bar one o'clock in the afternoon, trying to put my party hat on for the night. I'm saying, what's up with you and you and your guy? You and Prince Charming? I don't know. Just a guy? I mean, taking you out the games, ice cream. Damn, what you do for him? Nothing. Really, nothing? Nothing. He like groups? <laughs> I don't think so, man. I've seen him before, though, I think. Right? No, I don't think so. Like, what is he, like, um, like a celebrity? Some secret homo? Oh, man. Maybe I saw him coming out of Madison or something. Yeah, ain't seen him coming out of Madison. Ugh. I don't know. Well, where's he staying at? A hotel. Who is he? He's a guy. You in love? Just a guy. I'm, hey, I'm just asking, man. Trying to make conversation, you know? <sighs> Gotta go. <sighs> oh, shit, see? <gasps> see, this shit is starting already, Bobby. I can't fucking breathe, man. Yeah, it's, dude, this is just a job. It's not no fucking job. It's fucking slavery, man. A couple of weeks. Man. Hey, dog. There ain't gonna be shit left of me in a couple of weeks, man. Who is it? Me. Just a minute. You came. Told you. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'll, I'll tell him. I'll thank, thank you. Hey! 
Have a drink. How much? You are a kidder. I am? So I guess it's your day off too, huh? What? Well, how's it going? Your deal. Yeah, it's coming to a close. Then? Then they're finished with me. Hey, I thought you weren't a businessman. It's personal. What kind of personal? That's not talking about me. What? Not much to say. Said that you're afraid to go out to lunch. Hey, how much money is in that drawer? You know, I could get a gun, I could come in here and take it. What's stopping you? What's stopping me? What's stopping you from going out for a goddamn hamburger? Uh, there's been a misunderstanding. Well, you went out before. Some things are worth the risk. The Knicks? You. Great job last night for four seasons, I want you to know. I couldn't be happier with the way things are working out. Yeah, well, I'm glad. And I want you to know that I think of you as a son, and I would never cast you out, just as you should think of me as a father to whom certain responsibilities. I want you to know that should you decide to remain here, I want you to know that I'm willing to make you a full partner, just like Bobby. That's 60% for you, Abe. Bobby gets 70. Right, I meant 70. Wait, you said, um, should I decide to remain here? What do you mean, should I decide to remain here? Bobby has to talk to you? No. Should I decide to remain here? What's your plan? I'm 18. You're a 12-year-old girl waiting for her prince to carry her off on his horse. Problem is, you got baggage. There's room on that horse for your mother. You know she won't let you quit for anything less. She doesn't know. You believe that? She thinks I work at a restaurant. Oh, dear God, give us the strength to believe our own lies. She doesn't know. I mean, she'd never let me leave the house if she knew. You're a very sweet son, Bobby. That's just because you told your mother you work in a restaurant. The real gesture, the, no, the real act of kindness is you've managed to convince yourself that she believes you. Can I see pictures of your family? You don't believe me? Well, maybe I just love kids. Bobby paid your debt. Yeah. So, so that means I don't have to go out tonight. That, right? That means I'm free, right? We, we settled up. I, I'm free. I don't have to do this shit no more. Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Okay, cut it out. Oh, shit! Cut it out. <laughs> Yo, what, what, what the fuck you do that for? Why you do that? I don't know. Damn. Maybe, uh, maybe he fell in love once you to himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can have me, beautiful little faggot. That's Aaron. Lisa. It's my wine. My wine. Aaron's 14. He plays the guitar. He listens to the radio and just like that, he figures out the song right off the radio. It says to me, Huh. Where are you gonna go, Abe? You're still the same dime store nigger you were when you started pushing my poison. Where are you gonna go? You're too short to be a basketball player and you're too stupid to be anything else. Well, maybe you could ask your brother for a job. Maybe I will. Oh. Jack called. What do you want? He said he wanted what he paid for. Well, I don't have it, all right? Well, you better tell him that. 
You call and tell him, pimp. He said if he didn't see you, that he would be happy to find you at Sheila's. And how do you know about Sheila? Looks like you have one more appointment, McCocksucker. And we can forget about the procedure, seeing as you don't work here. I mean, people disappear in this world. People disappear if they never really existed in the first place. People are made to disappear. People pay a lot of money to disappear. How much? Everything in that drawer. It's really that bad? It's really that bad. You got a photograph of yourself? I can make this work. It takes time, though. Tomorrow night? Hey, Bobby, why, why are you doing this? It's my day off. Well, Bobby, you got a photograph of yourself? But you gotta understand, I mean, I can't if you don't. If I mean it. Then say it. Will you come with me? Jack. Yo, Jack. That was A. Come in, A. This dark shit is not healthy. Ah, I party in the dark. Yeah, well, um, it don't look like it's gonna be too much of a party. Hey, you like a drink? Oh, um, no, nah, thank you. I just wanted to, um, I'm gonna let you know that I put my nose to the ground and did what I'd you, like a drink. I came up with nothing, you know what I'm saying? And that friend I was telling you about? I'd like a drink. Sure. Uh, I asked him and uh, he said he didn't know Jack, so not, not you, just Jack. Like, he doesn't know anything. <clears throat> I just wanted to get it straight with you that your dude is like a ghost, you know? What's your friend's name? Uh-huh. He's a little bubblegum faggot. You know, if, if he knew something, I know it too, but you know he don't. I was wrong. You know, I just wanted to come tell you that personally. That's all. That was mighty considerate of you, eh? Yeah, I, I get like that sometimes. Ice? You know, I just wanted to tell you that the dude you're looking for is like a figment. I know it don't sound like $600 worth of shit. I'm not worried about the money. You sure? It's just that, you know, what can I say? I was, I was wrong. Party's over. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Why does everyone have to make things so difficult? Yo, what? Don't! Damn! Name! Yo, what? No, what? No! Oh! Name! a year, Dory. Are you sure you wouldn't like a drink? No, thank you. I wouldn't myself, but it's sort of an unexpected occasion. I tried to call, but your phone. It's 
It's an unnecessary luxury, John. You can't eat a telephone. Can't drink one either, huh? Your last letter asked for the money for the phone. I sent the money for the phone. I gave Bobby a check. He gets very busy. Turn on the goddamn telephone. You're sick, do you? You should have a telephone. How's your family? Tan, I hope. They're fine. What are you doing in New York? I had to leave for a while, Doreen. Leave where? I had to leave everywhere. Disappear. You're vice president of a bank. Bankers don't disappear. I had another employer. What kind of employer? Uh, they gave me money. I managed it for them through the bank. So you took it? Yes, I took it. I had two families to pay for. So you're a criminal. You can't call it anything else. You have no trouble taking money from Bobby. It makes him feel good. You know goddamn well where he gets it. He works very hard in a very good restaurant that was named in the critic circle. I've seen him, Doreen, working. In my hotel room. You what? You wouldn't. He doesn't know who I am. Who do you think you are? He's my son. Take it up as a kid. And your father, does he play as well? Restaurant. Yeah, but are they nice? Good night, Mother. Bobby? What? You seem to change a lot. Go to bed, Mother. Up again. I keep fucking up. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're home now. Oh. Uh, 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 u
Lisa Hurt. I'm Lisa Hurt. Uh-huh. I love you. Reputation's everything. You run a clean business with clean talent, reputation gets around. Hey, Bobby! Bobby! What did you say your name was? Jerry. Bobby, I would like you to meet Jerry. Hey. Jerry got your name from, who was it, the Houston people? That's right. From the Houston people. You're quite a star down there, apparently. They said to me, Jerry, if you're ever in New York. Hey, hear that, Bobby? You're famous. Hey, laugh. You stay at the Regal, you eat at Chez Artiste, and you look up Bobby Blue. The Houston people? That's right. Hey, I don't think that was me. Sure it was. Sure it was. You can't be expected to remember everybody's name. <laughs> you can't be expected. Bunch of guys in cowboy hats. Sure. Hey, we got to talk. What do you want to talk about, Bobby? I'm in kind of a hurry. He's in kind of a hurry. Right. So, uh, the Regal? Room 3026. Well, that's paperwork. Shall we? Not here. I need to see you. Not here. Bobby's running away. What? He's running away with his father. Oh, I hope they have a nice trip. His father came back for him. He's running away with his father. For real? Yes, Donnie, it's real. It's very real. Well, he can't. That's all. He, he would have told me. Because I'm running away where? I don't know. He's running away. His father stole some money from some criminals, and now he was here. He has a blue suit. Does Bobby know he's his father? I don't know. Oh, this is selfish. This is selfish behavior. You have to stop them. Where's Bobby? Out. With who? Huh? Hey, with who? You like to drink, Bobby? Yeah, all right. I'm afraid all I have is vodka. Hey, can I turn on the light? You don't find it romantic? I mean, you want to see what you're getting, don't you? I know what I'm getting. It's my party. Cheers. Hey, hey, I, I gotta call in. You know, tell the guy where I am. Procedure, you know. So call in. Room 3026, right? The Regal. That room didn't sound familiar to you. So many rooms. How can I be expected to remember every one of them? What's happening to my boy? Hello? Hey, it's me. Bobby? Yeah, everything's fine. What fine? Bobby, what fine? You're getting set to party. Yeah, I'll be there. Get off the phone now, Bobby. Look, he's getting a little uh, anxious, so uh, I better go. Bobby? Hey, man, how's the tuna? Hey, you don't mind if I freshen up some, do you? Freshen up? Yeah, I kind of smell like a 80-year-old queen with a bladder problem. You don't want that.
Don't be long, long, you hear me? Time to call the cavalry. Quiet. There is no cavalry either. He's fine, he's fine. He's fine! Look at me, look at him! He beat me till I stopped fucking breathing! Call the police. I can't call the police. Well, then I'll call the police. You can't call the police! Get out, get I have my phone. reputation! I don't care, give me the phone! Be quiet, I'll get him. I'll get him. Shut up! He's come for Bobby's father, don't you see? He came to Abe for Bobby. He came to Bobby for his old man. All he wants is Bobby's father. And we can give him to him. Room 3026, please. You're on the clock, boy. You're not being fair. I work hard for my money, Bobby. I don't like being taken advantage of. Almost done. No, this instant, Bobby. Don't make me come in there. Hello. Jerry. Who is this? I have what you want. What do I want, pimp? You don't want Bobby. Why didn't you tell me? The Winchester, room 3817. He's still there? He's waiting on the boy. He's leaving with the boy. And if the boy doesn't make it, I swear to God, he's there. Prince Charming, Bobby. Man, I don't even remember telling him your name. I don't. Alright, Abe. Let me ask you this. Why is this guy so popular? I don't give a fuck. Well, who is he? Mr. Smith? Yeah, Mr. Smith? Yeah. Come on, man, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, true, we chillin'. Hey, man, ah, come on, man. Damn, come on. Shit, come on, man. Ah, yeah. 38-17. Smith. Smith? Lady, I know he's there. I was just... Look, the guys might... Hey, would you just take a message up there? Please, lady, come on. It's like life and death. Please, just take it over there. Just, just, just write it down and bring it up. Please. Tell him... Just tell him... Leave. Tell him Bobby says... Disappear. You got that? Thanks a lot. Hey, Bobby. Why, man? Why what? You know what? I can afford it. Besides, I mean, this ain't right for you, man. This shit ain't right for nobody. Not for you, nobody, man. I know, man. I'm about to take care of it. Oh, and then Lap just gonna leave you hanging? I mean, he just left you hanging. They left... Who? Now, thanks for coming, Abe. I, 
um, I gotta go. Be good, man. Yeah, you be good to yourself. Be good to yourself, man. With it. Room service. I didn't order any room service. Champagne from Bobby. He said keep it cold till he gets here. Just a minute. Bollinger. Yes, sir. He wanted the best thing is how you're paying for it. <laughs> well, you talk to Bobby? You are kind of slow. A lot of years thrown in there. But we got things done. A little money. We got a good board here. We put together a good board here. <sighs> yeah. No, I don't have anyone at the moment, Mr. Holmes. What can I tell you? It's a very popular establishment. I have to call you back. I might have something. Hi, honey. We need to know each other. No. I was passing by and I, I saw the light. Tell you what, why don't you take the night off? Take your mother to a movie. Yeah. On me. Hey, gotta be a soldier, son. Don't let him get you down. Back on that horse. Tell you, Bobby. The will left some instruction at the desk. You must have checked out. Sure left the room neat. Who'd you say this guy was? My father.
someone to blame for all that's been done I look around these days and I see that I'm the only one and something's been calling me Oi, 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 oi,